Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 99. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has sent one last warning to Twitter for complying its new IT rules. The new IT rules were implemented on May 26, requiring all social media platform to appoint as chief compliance officer to directly address user grievances and issues. Twitter has so far not submitted details to the government. Twitter on Saturday removed the blue tick which led people to know that account on social media platform is authentic from the personal handle of vice president M Venkai Naidu however the official account of the vice president of India at BP secretariat which is run by the vice president secretariat still have a blue tick next to it apart from the vice president twitter also removed blue verification tick from the accounts of various rss community according to the twitter the blue verified batch on lets people know that an account of public interest is authentic to receive the blue batch, Batch, the accounts must be authentic notable and active however according to the rules twitter can remove blue verified batch and verified status of twitter account at any time without noticing it an account in changes of username or account become inactive or incomplete or the owner of the account is no longer for which position they have initially verified and do not otherwise meet your criteria for verification since leaving such position We already know that Vivo sub brand IQ is going to make the Z3 smartphone official for the Indian market on June 8th with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 768 processor on board. You may however have been wondering about the price. According to a new leak, the phone will start at rupees 19990 for the version of 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The 8GB 128GB variant is set to be priced at 21990 Indian rupees with the top of the line variant which is 8GB and 256GB storage is rumored to be go for rupees 23990 Moto launched the Moto G40 Fusion and Moto G60 smartphones back in April in the Indian market. Now Moto has decided to increase the Moto G40 Fusion price by 500 rupees in India. This price hike affect all the variants of the Moto G40 Fusion smartphone. Let us take a look at the new prices. 4GB RAM and 64GB storage launch price was around 13,990 in Indian rupees. The new price is around 14,499 Indian rupees. For the 6GB and 128GB storage, the launch price was around 15999 Indian rupees now the new price is like 16499 Indian rupees A few days ago OnePlus pushed a rather big update to the OnePlus 9 series addressing some software camera and battery issues. However, it seems that the update to Oxygen OS 11.2.6.6 didn't go so well for the OnePlus 9R that caused some battery drain problems. OnePlus Note CE 5G is confirmed to feature a 64 megapixel triple rear camera and today it is also announced that it is going to come with a 90 hertz AMOLED display. Chinese phone maker Vivo is tipped to launch a smartphone called Vivo Y73 in India this month. The device entire specifications were leaked a couple of days back. Now the company officially teases the arrival of this handset in the country. Samsung Galaxy M21 Prime Edition spotted on Google Play supported device list. India support page and BIA suggests that it could be an imminent launch. Korean tech giant Samsung has launched its latest wireless vacuum cleaner called the Bespoke Slim. The unveiling of the new wireless vacuum cleaner on June 3rd follows some earlier bespoke vacuum cleaning models that are already in the lineup of the versatile tech firm such as Bespoke Jet AI Robot Vacuum. The new Samsung Bespoke Slim adopts a slim, sensual and performance-driven design. This Bespoke Slim wireless vacuum cleaner priced at 549,000 won that is 495 US dollars. Clubhouse payment feature in India will release soon. Said by the co-founder and CEO Rohan Seth confirmed to BGR India during a close media interaction session. This will help the creators to monetize their content. Xiaomi is going to launch the 4G variant of Mi 11 Lite in India. The starting price of Mi 11 Lite will be under 25000 Indian rupees. The smartphone will come with a Snapdragon 732G chipset. Samsung is speculated to hold the launch event on August 19 to announce the Galaxy Z Fold 3, Z Flip 3 and S21 Fan Edition. The Galaxy S21 Fan Edition could be arriving as a successor to the Galaxy Note 20 lineup from last year. There are some leak renders of the S21 Fan Edition to showcase its front and rear design. As per the images on the screen, the upcoming Galaxy S21 Fan Edition will be available in at least 4 colors such as black, white, olive green and purple. 
एल जी एस क्लियर द जी सीरीज ऑफ स्मार्ट फोन टू इंट्रोड्यूस द वेलवेट लाइन अप द एल जी वेलवेट रिसीव ए गुड रिसेप्शन फ्रॉम क्रिटिक्स एंड यूजर्स नाउ दट एल जी एस शेट डाउन इट्स फोन बिजनेस देर विल नेवर बी एक्सेसर एडिशन फॉर द वेलवेट इवन दो एल जी इज नॉट मेकिंग न्यू फोन ए लाइव शॉर्ट ऑफ द कैंसल्ड वेलवेट टू प्रो एज एपीएड ऑनलाइन एंड इट वॉज लेटर रिपोर्टेड द कंपनी सेलिंग फाइनल यूनिट्स ऑफ द अनरिलीज वेलवेट टू प्रो एंड एल जी रोलेबल टू इट्स एम्प्लॉयज नाउ द टिप्सर थ्रोन एज शेड ए मार्केटिंग मेटीरियल ऑफ द वेलवेट टू प्रो टू रिवील द That it could be have a flagship device rather than the mid ranger like last year. It comes with a 6.8 inch P OLED panel with a Snapdragon triple eight chipset, and it also comes with a full HD plus resolution with a 120 hertz refresh upload rate. This chip could have been coupled with a 8G. Nigeria Telecom firm that shut down access to Twitter. Nigeria said on Friday it had indefinitely suspended Twitter activities two days after the company removed a post from President Muhammadu Buhari that threatened to punish regional sectionists in the West African country. Razer has officially announced the Iskar X gaming chair. The Iskar X comes at a lower price comparing to its predecessor but still retains most of the essential features of the Iskar gaming chair which was launched in 2020. The lumbar support is left out from the Iskar X although a lumbar support pillow is available as a separate accessory. A tipster claimed that Realme X9 smartphone powered by the Snapdragon 778G chipset and the Realme X9 Pro equipped with Snapdragon 870 processor and a 108 megapixel camera will be debuted in China next month. Tinder has rolled out an update that let users block certain contacts from the contact directory to avoid acquired interactions. Tinder could now block your ex, office colleague and relatives before you start swiping. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.